Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. So each day we've had a different composer that we've featured, and today it's the American composer, Virgil Thompson, winner of the Pulitzer Prize in 1949, a man who, what an incredible life. He lived for a number of years in Paris, 1929 to 1940, where he of course knew Millot and Poulenc, uh, Oniger, Auric, studied with Nadia Boulanger, and uh, was familiar with the painter Maurice Grosser. Of course, he's most famous because during that time he also met Gertrude Stein. And with her, he composed several operas. He was born in 1896. He died in 1989. He was also, of course, uh, a music critic for the New York Herald Tribune. And I got to know his music back in the 1970s. We did a concert at the Walker Art Center and Virgil came. And he was always very precise about what he said. And it was like, yes or no. People around the choral community probably know him best because he wrote several arrangements of hymn tunes in a cappella arrangements. And one of them that's most famous, of course, is his arrangement of the tune that set, My Shepherd Will Supply My Need, a piece he wrote back in 1937. Virgil Thompson. He also, of course, did things like this arrangement in the 1960s. He took the text, the holly and the ivy, now both are full well grown, and did something totally different than any of us would have ever thought. Here's his setting of the holly and the ivy. And when it gets to, oh, the rising of the sun, the running of the deer, the playing of the merry organ, sweet singing in the choir. And then he takes sweet singing in the choir and goes over and over with all kinds of melisma. Here's a verse of the holly and the ivy. Oh, the rising of the sun, the running of the deer, the playing of the merry organ. and more verses like that. Music of Virgil Thompson. He also, on the piano, wrote a whole series in five volumes of what are called portraits. And each one in these series was a portrait of a person. I don't know if the people for whom he did them thought they were appropriate, but he did them anyway. And here is the one, it's called Meditation. And it was a portrait of Jerry Abbott, who started the Museum of Modern Art in New York. And this is what he thought was a portrait of Jerry Abbott.
Music of Virgil Thompson. Well, he also, of course, as I mentioned, composed several operas. And those operas, I've done both of them, The Mother of Us All, which is the story about, about Susan B. Anthony, and then Four Saints in Three Acts. I did The Mother of Us All several times at Minnesota Opera, and then also we did it in concert for vocal lessons. And he wrote that in 1947, and Richard Stein did the text, and it's a text that, for the singers learning it, it seemed difficult, but once you learned it, you could never forget it. I mean, the whole opening, yes, I was, said Susan, you mean you were, said Anne. No, said Susan, no, when this you see, remember me, said Susan B, I do, said Anne. So you have that, and the harmonies of Virgil Thompson were always very straightforward, nothing, it was very kind of uh, Americana. Yes, I was, said Susan. You mean you were, said Anne. No, said Susan, no. When this you see, remember me, said Susan, me, I do, said Anne. So you have that kind of writing. He loved hymns, he loved chants, he loved popular song. He wrote symphonies, operas, orchestra pieces, piano pieces, choral pieces. And so all of that, became part of what was the nature of Virgil Thompson. And at the end of this beautiful piece, The Mother of Us All, comes a wonderful moment in which the text says, it's Susan B. speaking, where is where in my long life of effort and strife? And the ending does sound very much like a familiar hymn tune. Music of Virgil Thompson. Have a wonderful day.